Hello and welcome to another episode of Raps and Cool Music. Really long work day. I came home late, but there's no excuse. But I did think of a cool concept that kind of helps me on my path. I call that concept buff habits. It's when you have time, idle time, because I have lots of idle time at work. When I don't have customers or anything to do, I have idle time. I have time to do nothing. I realized that the best way to do nothing is to do calf races. So I already did 300 of them. And I had a busy day. I had a lot to do today, but I still had enough space like to do nothing, to do 300 calf races. So I kind of feel it in my calves. Mm. Proper gym workout tomorrow. But that doesn't take away from my consistency. I have a CD with a collection of classical music. It starts with Schubert, but it depends on how long my workout will be. And by the way, I don't know where my beanie is. I certainly have some kind of beanie or other. But... Uh, a hoodie is a nice solution too. Because I decided to add to my little regimen of <laughs> reps and stuff. I think I'm gonna practice the head spin every day as well. So I might nail it. <laughs> Hmm, it's kind of a cool move to pull off. Not that I would ever show it off on the dance floor or something like that, because you don't find me on the dance floor. Uh, it's just that when I was young, uh, I wanted to be cool, because I was this awkward kid. And I realized that I never really turned cool at all. So that's why I developed an indifference to what people think of me. And that is my stoicism. But I also want to put out good energy. I don't want to drag people down. I want to be positive and I want to be not a burden to others. That's the only thing that matters to me. Whether I'm cool or hip or whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't give a damn. I listen to classical music and old time rock and roll. I'm so out of touch with the times. And when I do like something new, it's because it kind of sounds nostalgic, like ghosts. <laughs> I love ghosts. Anyway, uh, 30th of April, ghost concert coming up. And yes, I'm really looking forward to that. Anyway, on this CD, if my workout is long enough, it will make it as far to play one track by Shostakovich. Shostakovich is not allowed because Shostakovich died in 1975. That's like playing Elvis, if you put this in perspective. It's like the only reason why you may think like Shostakovich is from a different time than Elvis is because Shostakovich was older than Elvis when he died. So, late romantic era composer early rock and roll pioneer well pioneer pioneer he copied a lot of blues songs that came before his time but still pop icon the the predecessor to Justin Bieber Elvis Presley <laughs> anyway uh, let's uh, do some uh, uh, hip thrusts and uh, put on some Schubert and enjoy the pump and the music. I read uh, now that Schubert died of typhoid fever that comes from drinking contaminated water. I guess that was a common cause of death in that time. That killed Tchaikovsky as well. Tchaikovsky was a bit later than Schubert. Schubert lived in Beethoven's time. Uh, oh. Anyway. So he was like early romantic composer. 
Schubert. Uh, late classical era. Okay, let's do this. Maybe further away so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Another buff habit I have is that I do pull-ups outside uh, right before I go to work and then right before I come home because there is an actual uh, bar outside, right outside my apartment building where I can actually do pull-ups on. I don't know what this was originally meant for but it's perfect for pull-ups and, and it's being used for nothing, just there. <laughs> So I'm like, I found a use for it. Okay, let's do some more. Or, I know. I know how I can give the muscles a break. I can train skills. Try the head spin. Just do a slow head spin. Because if I do it in slow motion several times, I will figure out how to spin fast. Okay. I will break, break dancing to Schubert. spin again and uh, do some wrestler's bridge strengthen the back muscles whoo hi 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 Practice. Whew. 
At least I'm trying. It's somewhere to start. Whew. Hey. Okay, wrestler's bridge. Oh. Ah. I gotta undress. Uh, I would need a beanie anyway then. Uh, is it just me or does my arms look a bit swollen today? I don't know, but that's a good thing. <laughs> Very relaxing music for working out. Hmm. I don't mind. I like relaxing music. I also like intense symphonies, you know, <laughs> like Beethoven symphonies. Beethoven symphonies are so good. I that's usually what I listen to when I pump in the gym. <sighs> I get really pumped up to Beethoven. <sighs> okay. Whew. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't hurt to do a few head spins. Just as long as I don't make it a habit. I need a beanie if I'm getting warm. <laughs> no! The watch is hurting me now. <laughs> but it's good exercise. Even just trying. Even just attempting things is exercise, is practice. It shapes your body towards becoming better, becoming stronger, more capable, more coordinated. <sighs> I put an interesting challenge on myself. <sighs> I might get copyright anyway. I don't know who the hell this singer is, but someone's gonna find out. Okay. So this video might get taken down, but it doesn't matter. Just another day of me exercising anyway. <laughs> These videos are mainly made to prove a point. That consistency yields results, so I'm looking forward to seeing any actual results. Ugh! I do have a few results, like a hundred push-ups. I still do not have an amazing body yet, but I'm working on it. <sighs> Ooh. Okay. Ooh. <sighs> What's next? <sighs> Maybe a few squats? Yeah, I'll drink some water, do some squats. <sighs> <sighs> Not many because I'm gonna lift weights tomorrow. <sighs> Maybe 20. <sighs> that is something. And at least that head spin action and all that stuff, that stuff I don't do at the gym, so... <laughs> so, uh, let's do this. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
17 14 15 16 17 18 19 And now, whew, let's do as many calf raises as I can. I did them at work, but let's just kill them calves hard. <sighs> Buff habits. Buff habits. <sighs> okay. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 22, 23, 24, I need to foreshorten it, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 
30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh god, no, no, no. I have to be able to walk tomorrow and bicycle to the gym. So I just leave it there. Oh, 200 is good. And I already did 300, so 500 in one day. Not bad. Better bring some more water. Woo. Ah. Yes. Time to train the abs then. Most important muscles. And also according to popular belief at least, the only muscles on a man that a woman cares about. Um, the only muscles that are not visible on me, sadly enough. Even my calves look better. <laughs> so, but improve my eating habits and train abs every day will help. And eventually, as my knee is bettering, I can do more and more running and other cardio activities. But I can still bicycle, so I do that both when I get to the gym and I stationary bike for almost half an hour, so... <sighs> so I do train cardio to get leaner and better looking. But, okay. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 
Twenty. Twenty one. Twenty two. Twenty three. Twenty four. Twenty five. Twenty six. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Twenty nine. Thirty. Of course, I do not train abs for such a weak purpose as to impress women. Because that means you're a simp. Everyone should be their own in the independent individual. You know? My goal is to impress myself. Uh, it's very hard to impress myself, though. <laughs> when when uh, I grew up with role models, uh, fitness role models like Jean-Claude Van Damme, uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone, and I know for sure I'll never look anything like those guys. So yeah, it's hard to impress myself because the only thing I can become is my best self. And I don't even know what my best self really looks like. I've been stronger, I've been in better shape than now. But have I really optimized what I can do with nutrition and training? Probably not. So I have yet to see my best self. <laughs> okay. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Oh. <sighs> yeah, but getting good buff habits is a good path to be able to see what my best self looks like. I'm excited about it. That's why consistency is so important. That's why I even make those videos. I don't care if nobody cares about these videos. If I have zero viewers, I'm still gonna make these videos. <sighs> it serves to keep myself accountable for my plans. <laughs> Even though when I go to the gym, there is no footage of it. I will, it's like, I can talk and chill out with classical music at the gym. I can only have my sweet music on my headphones and do my reps, that's why. I might get a gym bro to film a bench press or squat or deadlift PR. That's basically it. <laughs> I won't talk about philosophy and classical music when I'm in the gym. Okay, one, two, three. Unless there is a cool gym bro that wants to talk about it between the reps. Five, six, I'm gonna get copies right for sure. There must be some kind of famous opera singer singing this. I'm screwed. It's Giuseppe Verdi is the composer. I hope this is not Pavarotti himself. 12? I have to check this. Maybe I need to skip this.
Ah, it's just some singer I haven't heard of, but I might be screwed. But it doesn't matter. I have to be stoic. Keep working out. This video might disappear. I might be copy striped for sure. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. This is from the opera Rigoletto. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh. Oh. It's so lovely. First, when I heard this song from the Rigoletto opera, by Verdi, Giuseppe Verdi. I heard it sung by, by Luciano Pavarotti. I think something was quite, there was a lot of bad pop music in the 90s, but something was really right about the 90s as well. Pavarotti and Andrea Bocelli and our own Cicel Schirchebre from Norway were very prominent pop stars at the time. So something right happened in pop music at the time. I remember from my childhood, you know, how popular they were. <laughs> and also, uh, I think another opera tenor, his name is Placido Domingo. He was very popular too at the time. Oh man. Those were the times, so, so yeah, people do appreciate good music, it's just that a lot of people don't have enough exposure to it, there are too many rappers, too many Cardi B's and Post Malone's out there, <laughs> we need more Pavarotti's in the world, <laughs> okay, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Oh, ay, I think I just do the plank until I die. Ugh, man, 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 man. I, I haven't checked all those compilation CDs. I'm like, man, that was a lot of opera. I'm trying to avoid opera in my videos because of copyright, you know. I love opera, of course I do, it's like the pinnacle of singing is in opera. Opera and high quality heavy metal. <laughs> so I, I even see a connection between opera and heavy metal because many of the best heavy metal singers even has a background in opera. So uh, anyway, Whew. so in a way I feel that opera and also Bach and Vivaldi and Dowland is related to heavy metal and rock and roll. <laughs> Man, my plank has gotten stronger. I'm more comfortable in this position. tomorrow as well. Okay, time to drink some water, time to pump some biceps, then stretch. Whew. Uh, whew. 
I pump a little bit of every day. I think that will also help me because I don't overdo them, but I stimulate them on a daily basis. Both with my pull-ups on the way to work and my bicep curls at home. And I only do one set each arm. I do it every day though. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and technique but it makes me stronger still oh Whew. yeah that was freaking Beethoven that's what I thought it's Fidelio it's Beethoven's only opera ah. And it's starting now. Sound is so low. Oh, there are some lines. Nice. Anyway. Oh, anyway. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's typical Beethoven. Five. Seven, eight, ah, and it's kind of like I knew it was starting before it already started. I have a telepathic connection with Beethoven, or at least some kind of spiritual connection of some sort. I did feel Beethoven's soul through my fingertips before I worked out because. I chilled out and played some so Moonlight Sonata. Sometimes I say Sonata Arctica by mistake. That's also a lo lovely music. It's a beautiful melodic Finnish band. There's a lot of piano in that music too. One of my favorite songs is End of This Chapter, even though it's kind of creepy and weird. It's like Almost like a weird stalker anthem. <laughs> Ugh, not a good mindset to be in. But lovely song it is. <sighs> anyway. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. Those wrist curls hurt so much that I do only five at a time. But at least that will make my forearms and grip stronger. And Bruce Lee was a big advocate of grip training. And Bruce Lee also said your body is only as strong as its weakest link. Well, I am following that religiously at the gym because my knee is still a bit sensitive. It has gotten better. I even run a little bit at the treadmill. <laughs> Oop. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Okay, time to stretch to Beethoven's lovely opera. I'm gonna be so copy striked for this. But I, I heard, oops, I heard that the worst that could actually happen if you play somebody else's music on your videos is not that the video gets taken down, it's just that it, it gets demonetized. But who cares? I'm never gonna earn money from doing these videos. Anyway, 
So maybe it's not the end of the world that I'm enjoying some opera music while doing my exercise. <laughs> but I have to turn down the sound a little bit. It's beautiful music, but it's very intense. And I need to stretch and read stoicism. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Oh, this is also a consistent rep and a consistent step towards self-improvement. <laughs> Both on the mental side and the physical side. Whew. Hey, hey, hey. I'm looking forward to meeting the people at Taekwondo, but I have to be, I have to be able to at least run a few miles before I even start Taekwondo, because then I know my knee is not a liability. If I can run a few miles comfortably with, without any pain, I'm ready for Taekwondo. So I still probably have a couple of months or something to get to there. Oh. But that means I get to work on my flexibility in the meantime, and philosophy too. Taekwondo likes calm, stoic people, you know? Uh, my teacher might notice that I've gone through some personal development because I'm not the same person as I was when I trained there last time. A lot to, has happened to me since the injury, but that's contributed to my growth. So, okay, here is the stoicism of the day. Test your impressions from the very beginning. Make it your practice to say to every harsh impression, you are an impression and not at all what you appear to be. Next, examine and test it by the rules you possess. The first and greatest of which is this, whether it belongs to the things in our control or not in our control. And if the latter, be prepared to respond. It is nothing to me. Epictetus and Chiridion 1.5. <sighs> in an overly quantified world of policies and processes, some are swinging back in the other direction. Bold leaders will trust their gut. A spiritual guru will say it's important to let your body guide you. A friend trying to help us with a difficult decision might ask, what feels right here? These approaches to decision making contradict vol voluminous case studies in which people's instincts have led them right into trouble. Our senses are wrong all the time. As animals subjected to the slow force of evolution, they have developed all sorts of heuristics, biases and emotional responses that might have worked well on the savanna, but are totally counterproductive in today's world. Part of stoicism is cultivating the awareness that allows you to step back and analyze your own senses, question their accuracy, and proceed only with the positive and constructive ones. Sure, it's tempting to throw discipline and order to the wind and go with what feels right, but if our many youthful regrets are any indication, what feels right right now doesn't always stand up well over time. Hold your senses suspect. Again, trust, but always verify. Hmm. Oh. Ah, man, that was a good stretch and that was a good piece of philosophy. I, I have learned to actually not take my thoughts so seriously all the time because I have crazy thoughts all over the place. And I'm better at deciding and not acting on some of those thoughts. And having a better filter for things I say as well as things I do. It is a never-ending practice. It's like everyone can make mistakes. Even the most <laughs> experienced philosopher. But I'm trying to be my best self. In every way. 
And on that note, stay buff and have a nice evening. <laughs>